Hi, today we're going to talk about the assembling features. Let me start with some theory. I'm going to go and open mycr.com portal. And here we're going to go and check the docs built in presets. Takara bio. Now, We've used this Takaro Human BCR full length preset in a number of our previous videos. But you can see that here we actually have two presets the CDO3 one and the full length one. What's the difference? The difference is in the assembling feature. Assembling feature defines a clonotype. What unique sequence is enough for a clonotype to be defined? In case of the CDO3 preset, a unique CDO3 nucleotide sequence is enough to define a clonotype. That means that two clonotypes from the output clonotype table will always differ in CDO3 nucleotide sequence. And that would also be its target sequence. And in case of full length preset, the target sequence and the assembling feature is the full VDJ region which means that two clones from the output clonotype table may have an identical CDO3 nucleotide sequence, but should have different full VDJ region sequence, which is often the case with BCR data due to hypermutations, where two clones have the same CDR3 but differ in the number of mutations. Now, the one thing that I want you to keep in mind is that your reads should always cover the assembling feature. Which means that for this particular case, if you follow the manufacturer's protocol and you perform a 300 base pair paradigm sequencing, your reads will overlap and cover the full VDJ region. But if you sequence this same library with shorter reads, let's say 150 base pairs, that means that your reads would not overlap and they will not cover the full assembling features which will lead to the absence of clones in the clonotype table due to the absence of the assembling feature. So if your sequence using shorter reads that do not cover the full assembling feature, you should use the CDO3 preset. And now let me close the window and I'm going to open the terminal. And I'm going to go to the directory where we have the raw data, the same that we used for previous videos. Here in the raw folder, we have raw FASTQ files. And right now we're going to take one pair of these FASTQ files and I'm going to process it two times using different presets, the CDO3 one and the full length one, and then we will compare the outcome. So the first one, we're going to use the CDO3 preset. And let me just start by typing the path to the MyXCR. And now we're going to run the same command the second time, but this time I'm going to change the name of the preset and the name of the output prefix. Now when the analysis is complete, we can look into the results folder and here we see two sets of files for two different presets. And we're going to start by opening the clonotype table for the heavy chain obtained with the full length preset. Here we go. Type table, and in the previous video, I've already told you how to read the table. And right now, I'm gonna go and sort the table by the CDO3 nucleotide sequence so we can actually see some clones that have the same CDO3 nucleotide sequence but different target sequences. So now you can see that this table is sorted by the CDF3 nucleotide sequence. 
and I'm going to scroll down the table and look for the clone like this one. So we see that for this CD3 nucleotide sequence, we have three different clones. They differ due to hypermutations somewhere in the VCJ region, but share the same identical CD3 nucleotide sequence. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the other table, the one for the heavy chain obtained with CDF3 preset. There we go. Now, the first thing you can notice is the target sequences is way shorter here because here is the CDF3 sequence. And I'm going to sort this table in a similar manner. And I'm going to go and copy that CDL3 nucleotide sequence from the full length table and look for it in the CDL3 preset table. There we go. So, so here you can see that in the CDR3 table, there is only one clone with this CDL3 nucleotide sequence, while in the full length preset table, we have three clones that share the same identical CDL3 nucleotide sequence, and that is due to the presence of hypermutation somewhere in the BCG region. And you can also notice that the sum of the UMIs from the full-length table equals the number of the UMIs from the CDL3 table, and the same goes for the number of reads. Now, that is the difference in assembling clones by different features. That is for today. Thank you for watching.